Hi guys, I'm really excited today because I'm going to be starting seeds for my cool weather crops. This winter has dragged on forever for me. I don't know about you guys, but I am so ready for spring and it's coming really, really soon. All of the seeds that I'm going to be starting in this video today are things that grow well in the cooler weather of spring. These are all vegetables that you can plant outside weeks before your last frost date. There's a planting calendar that I like to use um, on a website called garden.org where you just plug in your zip code and it gives you a general guideline on when to plant what in your area. I use it quite a bit when I'm trying to decide when to plant spring and fall vegetables. And I'll put a link down in the description for anybody that would like to have a look at it. I find it to be very useful. It's free to use. They're not sponsoring this video or anything like that. I really just like to use this calendar and I know some of you might find it useful too. The first thing I'm sowing today is lettuce. Lettuce can be direct sown in the garden, but I like to start at least some of my lettuce seeds indoors. And the reason for that is the seeds will germinate faster in my house, which is usually at about 67 degrees than they would outside right now because it's still pretty cool out there. The seeds will germinate outside, but it'll take longer. I'm going to be planting the lettuce in these peat pellets. And I know a lot of people don't care for peat pellets, but I am a huge fan of peat pellets when it comes to sowing things that are only going to be kept indoors under my grow lights for two or three weeks, like lettuce. And for anybody that doesn't know what these are, these are just little compacted pellets of dried peat moss. You have to hydrate them by adding water. Once they're saturated with water, you just pour off any extra water that's remaining in the tray and you're ready to go. Now I just like to open up the tops and I'm ready to start sowing seeds. I have several varieties of lettuce here plus some spinach. I will try to put all the varieties that I'm going to grow up on the screen for anybody that's interested. Now I'm just going to loosen up the soil a bit with this pencil. I'm pretty much just scratching around the surface so that I have a little bit of loose soil to cover these seeds up with once I get them sown. In some of these pellets I am sowing several lettuce seeds. And that's because some of my lettuce seeds are older from 2015, 2016. Once they germinate, I'll thin down each peat pellet to one plant per pellet. Now I'm just barely covering the seeds with some soil. It's fine if you see random lettuce seeds on top of the soil. Just be sure to push them down, pat them down so that they can have good contact with the soil. Next we're planting broccoli and cauliflower. The varieties here are Purple of Sicily Cauliflower, which is really pretty. I grew it a few years ago. Then we have a classic common variety of broccoli that you probably see people plant a lot. It's um, Calabrese, Calabrese. I actually just really don't know how to pronounce it, but I know a lot of people grow it. And the third variety I have is Aspabrock broccoli and this is a quick maturing variety that's a hybrid. I'm just going to sow several seeds in each cup and then I'll thin them out later to one plant per cup. I'm going to plant two of the Calabrese, Calabres, whatever it is. I'm going to plant two of the broccoli that's in the middle here and four of the Aspa Brock broccoli. As I said before, this is a quick maturing broccoli. It produces a smaller main flower head than a lot of other broccoli varieties, but it does make plenty of side shoots. According to the seed packet, the days to maturity for this variety is 50 days, which is pretty quick maturing. The other variety of broccoli I'm growing has a days to maturity of 80 to 108. So I'm really looking forward to getting some early broccoli. And by the way, I did drill a hole in the bottom of each of these cups 
and I pre-moisten the potting soil, push it down so that there's no air pockets in there. And even though the soil was pre-moistened, I'm gonna go ahead and spray these a little bit on top just to make sure the seeds get nice and wet. Next, I'm sowing cabbage seeds and a funny little story about that. I actually forgot to sow these seeds for this video. I filmed my whole video. I went inside and I put everything on the computer and was getting ready to record the audio for this video when I realized that I didn't plant the cabbage at all. That's why we're sitting here in the house planting it in the grow light area right now. There's two varieties here, Red Acre and the other one is Soloist Cabbage. Soloist Cabbage is a fast maturing cabbage. Um, I haven't grown it before, but the description online said that it's a Chinese cabbage and that the heads are fairly small, but it's an early maturing variety. And I'm pretty excited to try it. I thought about starting these pea seeds today I haven't decided if I'm going to start these indoors or direct sow them. I don't want to plant them outside now because I'm afraid they're just going to rot. And my weatherman said that we are going to have cooler than normal temperatures for the next two weeks, unfortunately. So I'm probably just going to wait a couple weeks before I start these. The first variety I have here is from Baker Creek and it's a snow pea. The variety is whatever that says right there on the package. <laughs> This variety is supposed to produce humongous pea pods. The fairy moor seeds are your classic and common sugar snap peas, but it is a really great pea to grow and that's why it's so popular. I also have the spring blush tendril peas. I bought this packet of seeds in 2016, but the seeds that are actually in the packet right now are ones that I saved in 2017. I'm not sure how well these are gonna germinate. Pea seeds aren't good for very long. I probably won't have enough space to plant them anyway. I don't have a huge area to garden in. I actually have 15 acres and you would think that I would have so much space for gardening, but I really don't. I've got a lot of woods, so there's an issue with shade. And the other half of my property is a farm field and I can't really use that for my garden. But anyway, it is what it is. We are trying to clear a little bit more space in the, you know, just the basic yard where the grass is so I can plant some more vegetables and flowers. We'll get there eventually. And that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Everything I planted here today is going under my grow lights in the house. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye.